So uh, so now it's the national championship game in the highest level of college football, Georgia TCU. Hey, can I ask you this? When do we start the twelve? Is it year after next? Is yes. it twenty five? Yeah, we yes. right. twenty. So we got another year of the four. One yeah. more, and then you know what? We come a long way from just sportscasters and coaches voting, though. Oh, I like this a lot better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, so I mean, the BCS was better than that. So we'll yeah. start with Adler. Adler, I need who's going to win by what score and how many yards that Bennett will throw for. All right, I'm going to go Georgia 28. Georgia's going to win TCU 14, and Bennett is going to throw for 280. Okay. Oh, wow, good. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, so Helmsy? Whew. A lot of, lot of heart involved with this one, Rick. I know, buddy. And, 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 and God love you. 41 to 37. Okay. TCU. Well. <laughs> 268 yards for the gutsy Bennett. Mm-hmm. Okay. All righty. So up next is Greg. Look at him thinking. Mm-hmm. He looks down when he thinks. He does. I've noticed that. The score, I have no idea. Well, you just. I'm going TCU. Just what? why not? I, okay. I'm going to step out there. Greg, you're better than this. I, look, this he is expects not it out of me, not you. You're, this is you don't have yeah. this kind of emotion. I know you can think I'm crazy, <laughs> uh-huh. but I, some about Georgia. I, I mean, they're good. Don't get me right, wrong, but there's some about them. They, they are. It just depends on which one shows up. Mm-hmm. Uh, a score, I'm, I have no idea. You got to get thirty-four seventeen. Okay. Oh, oh wow! wow. My goodness, they handled them. Good night. Wow. How many? How many? Okay, that's kind of a tiebreaker too, because if we just go wins, we'll have a bunch of people tied. Mm-hmm. You have to have that's score. Right. I say that's right. And well, you want? I, I don't care about tiebreaker, but he throws for. We don't have this kind of attitude. How can this Look attitude this. pull wow. for TCU? Wow! Greg. Because there, I mean, there ain't gonna be a tiebreaker. But anyway, uh, uh, two hundred and fifty yards. Oh, 250 oh wow! And only scored seventeen. I don't even care. Okay. Couldn't get it in, Speedy. They right. kept getting red zone and okay. breaking down. Yeah, Greg, got it. Can I It'll tell you this? I know you're idea. tired. I know you're tired from the party, but you're gonna have to give us more than this. <laughs> <laughs> just, I hate picking the game. Hey, I know you do. I hate, hey, I hate the sports hey. art trophy. Hey, hey, I do too. I do too. But my attitude is much different. Hey, let, and let me just say, Greg, well, we're gonna leave you off for a new tailgate show. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dang. And, we, and we get that you don't like it. We get that. You remember we traveled the country on the XFL? You love that. I know. I just don't like picks. Can I take having to pick? I don't either. I just you know you I like doing it. I gotta come this. up with a score. For, well, how about this? Can you do me a favor? And all I'm gonna give you is a sticky note because that's all we need. I want you to write down things you like. <laughs> <laughs> sticky note. I, I, Rick, the win loss part I'm good with. I hate the score part. Okay. Yeah. Because I gotta get in my mind if it's even possible the number I come up with is threes and sevens. I'm that sorry. you can get that that many points. You're still my baby brother and I still love you. <laughs> you all right, know? Speedy, go ahead. All right, Georgia wins 38-20. Mm-hmm. And Bennett throws for two eighty five. I like that pick right there. I like that score. I like it all. <laughs> uh, You're getting real close to mine, uh, Bubba. Yeah, he's had the wrong. George is going to win thirty eight twenty four. Ooh. And Bennett will throw for three twenty five. Okay. Mm-hmm. Here's the tiebreaker, Greg. Um, I will tell all of you that you're going to sense in the beginning that the emotion of Helmsy and mm-hmm. Greg. Has something going on? You're gonna feel. You're gonna <laughs> and think, the whole world wants it to happen. Yeah, too, you'll so. be like, "Oh, look at TCU! Look how good they're doing!" And then, then there's going to be the settling in when when everybody stops screaming and, and everybody emotions sit, over. Everybody and, sits down in their seats and all this, and and so Georgia will then begin to chip away at, at Cinderella, driving. Uh, the chariot will slowly turn into a pumpkin, <laughs> and and yeah. this game is going to be Georgia forty two, mm-hmm. uh, TCU twenty, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, and Bennett is going to throw for three hundred and forty yards. Mm, three forty, mm-hmm. and he's going to do a picks. lot of hand good signals picks. and mm-hmm. stuff mm-hmm. after he does. Right. <laughs> All right. So Adler's got Georgia twenty eight fourteen. Yep. Helms has got TCU forty one thirty seven. Mm-hmm. Greg's got TCU and a shocker thirty four seventeen. George, uh, Speedy says Georgia 38-20, Bubba 38-24 Georgia, me 42-20 Georgia. Mm-hmm. I yeah. will say this. I haven't watched TCU a lot until the championship game. They're better athletic-wise on defense than I thought they were. They are. Yeah. I will 100% agree with you. I think they and said Speedy, eight. you said eight of their players on defense were transfer portal guys. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Mm-hmm. Hey, did y'all know that tonight it's going to be at SoFi that you can't tailgate outside of? Right. Mm-hmm. It will be the first college game ever played at SoFi in uh-huh. LA. I will agree with the guy who just texted me, and we really have said this, but I, let's, let's solidify this. The difference in the game will be Bowers number 19. He, oh, he yeah. will be the He needs to be. He will be Ohio the State did a good job of having yeah, him. They did. Yeah. Most, for a while, most the guy he played for TCU. Georgia now. 
And he seems the kind of player, too, that if I got kind of – Yeah, I'm going to make up for I, I'm going to adjust to that. Yeah. Uh, and he comes to play. And they got a good enough staff to look and go, oh, here's what they were doing. Do I wish zero yeah. wasn't hurt? I do. Yeah. Don't like people wearing the number zero. I don't. I don't, hate don't, it. Don't it's like right behind all. double numbers. I, I For the life of me – and and I feel so bad for announcers. That's so bad for I feel so bad for announcers. I was listening to, I guess it was the Kansas State Alabama Sugar Bowl, on the radio. Just it started at like eleven on the playoff day, which was yeah. weird. Yeah. That that you know, if you want to feel like you're in an exhibition game, <laughs> play at eleven on the day the playoffs are. <laughs> All right, that feels very exhibition. That is that stuff. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, so I'm driving around, and of course I know this because I've seen enough of Alabama's games to know. That the guy who returns punts, Kool Aid, whatever, McKinstry, wears McKinstry. number one, but so does Gibbs. Yeah, they're all world running back. Well, stupid radio guy, but I, I give I give yeah, him a pass. Gibbs could be returning, and, and, and Gibbs is back to return the punt. Right, uh, Gibbs has got it. Oh, he's going. He's got some room. And all of a sudden, me go. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I forget, hey guys. I'm sorry. That's a Kool Aid. Say, so, why do we? Why do this duplicate number think, thing? Think about why we wear numbers. Starters, Rick. Why do we even wear numbers? What, why to so identify you know who a player? Yeah. So, you know so who if you is. got two, it doesn't make sense. I, I don't get it. I, if I could be king of football, I'd forbid that, and nobody can wear zero. <laughs> no, I hate the zero look. And all of you that are hollering about there's more players than numbers, not who are actually going to play. Okay, and you can only travel. You never travel with with over ninety nine players. Right. And your roster is not going to have over – and if you want to say, well, when we do the red shirt guys and we want them to dress out for a non-counter home game, then they can wear duplicate numbers. Yeah, because they're nobody, not But nobody in the game can right. do it. Same thing in high school. If you dress your JV and you're at a big school <laughs> and you got over 100, just put the JV guys in the right. double. You Don't know, know why high school's dressed I, I would go this far, Rick. I, I, could, I could give ground on the zero because it is a number. Mm-hmm. If it's hard we did at. away with the double numbers, oh, I definitely no, I'll make that deal oh, tomorrow. I'll make that deal. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. no question. If I'm at the table, so say, don't tomorrow. say I, I can't. You know, compromise. Yeah, that's right. I'll, I'll, I'll let you have. Hey, I'll give you zero. I'll, I'll give you double zero. <laughs> Greg, no. Well, I'm just saying, if Georgia really. wins, it will be back to back. This has only been done a handful of times. Mm-hmm. Do y'all Tough. remember the last time it happened? It's Alabama, Alabama did it. Eleven and twelve. A row yeah, tied. No. Prior to that, you got to go all the way back to 1994, 95. How the mighty have fallen, Nebraska. Oh, I do remember mm-hmm. that. Well, and they, then they, prior they to that, it was Alabama in the late 70s. Wow.